Hello everyone, my name is Chuck Poole and I am the VP of Communities here at McGraw-Hill as well as an active classroom teacher of 24 years. And today, I wanna to share a connection and icebreaker activity that I currently use in my classroom from time to time called Concentric Circles. Now it's a fun, get to know you activity that creates an atmosphere of friendship and learning in your classroom. Now this strategy can be used as a simple icebreaker activity or it could even be used as a review activity with rapid fire style questions. So let's dive into how concentric circles work and see how you could best use it. So first, you'll wanna form two circles, an inside circle and an outside circle. Now this can be done with desks, chairs, or simply students standing. Now each student from the outside circle is paired with a student from the inside circle and they face one another. Now, once the circles are formed and ready, it's time to get started. Now to get things started, you will wanna provide the group with a simple focus question. It could be something to get the conversation flowing, something like, what is your favorite food and why? Or describe your perfect day, or what is your favorite subject and why? Something that will spark discussion. Now, once the question is asked, students in the inner circle will start the discussion for about 30 seconds. And then the students in the outer circle will respond for another 30 seconds and so on. Now, after one minute has passed, stop the discussion and have the students in the outer circle rotate one place clockwise, forming new partnerships. Now, the inner circle simply stays put. Now, once they've rotated, it's time for a fresh question or topic. And you simply continue this process with new pairings and new conversations until you've used up all of your questions that you've prepared beforehand. Now, if you're tight on space and you can't use circles, you can also use straight lines facing each other instead. Now, the process will remain the same, but instead of rotating in, circle, in circles, you'll just have them choose one line or you'll choose one line and have them move one spot at a time. Now, either way is going to work. It's really a great way for students to rapidly get to know one another. But the other way that I like to use this strategy, other than just for an icebreaker, is to review concepts, skills, or information. Now, I simply prepare questions ahead of time that I would like for students to review, and I have them use the concentric circle strategy to discuss answers in the same way. See, this gives them the opportunity to hear from many classmates and questions can be repeated multiple times throughout the activity to help them discuss answers with different people each time. So whether you wanna use this strategy to help your students get to know one another or to help them remember what they've learned, concentric circles will help develop strong connections, build communication skills, and bring engagement to your classroom. So I hope it's a strategy that you enjoy.